and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. I have questions from you. The first one is, hi Vicki, I have a question for you. For the annual search, do we need to do the lead-based disclosure form every year and the same question for the VAWA? We do both at our property, but the files are getting a little thick. MS. MS? No. The lead-based paint disclosure is a one-time form that you get signed, but the proper sections have to be completed. And you have to have the resident and management sign the form. As far as the VAWA 5380 and 5382 forms, and I assume that's what you're talking about, they are given at move-in, they're given with a rejected application, and they're given with a termination. The second question says, Hi Vicki, Navigate is not RCA, but I do have a question. We were given a finding for not completing the VAWA emergency transfer plan, and we furnished the HUD form 5381 that we received off of line. What's wrong? Well, what's wrong? The HUD 5381 form is correct. However, HUD stated that owners and agents must develop and implement an emergency transfer plan by June the 14th of 2017, using the model form as a guide, not just copying the form from the internet. You must develop and put into the plan the information according to your property and the availability. It must tell what your company will do as it relates to emergency transfers. Do you have another sister property to transfer it to? Or will you help them find assistance at another affordable property? Owners and agents may require tenants seeking an emergency transfer to provide a written emergency transfer request. If they do, that would be HUD Form 5383. I hope that answers the vowel questions for you. Thank you guys for your questions. Keep them coming in, and we'll see you again for another Tuesday tip.